There's no business like show business. Actually, I'm so excited because there's a man with a top hat on. Not only does he have a top hat, but he brought a couple of friends with him. Ladies and gentlemen, it is Anthony Labriola. How are you? Fantastic. Thank you so much for having us today, Donna. Yeah, it's so nice to meet you. I want to find out, where is your puppet theater located? What town? Uh, we're in Hicksville. We're actually about two blocks away from the Hicksville train station, so it's so easy to get there. Now, I know how easy it is to get there because I have been there many, many years with many of my kids over the years, right? And I've actually seen you perform. So you started working there at what age? I started working there at around 13. I saw my first show there when I was seven, fell in love with the place. I lived up the road, so as soon as I was old enough to get my working papers, I ran up there, asked for a job, and uh, I worked there for about 11 years intermittently throughout college. And now about two months ago, uh, I just purchased the building from the previous owners. <laughs> And what are you keeping the same? Like, are you renovating anything? or Because it, it had some really eclectic kind of decor. So, we are doing well. <laughs> a lot of, um, the theme is sort of saying the same. Okay. Uh, where it's that circus tent on the outside, but the minute you go inside, it's this whole wonderland. And everything is still going to be very eclectic. It's going to have a little bit more of my own touch, um, but having apprenticed under the previous owners, I'm doing a lot the same. Wow. And how does your family feel about this for you? Oh, they love it. And they have been the biggest help throughout all of this. I mean, my mother, my brother, they come in and help me out every chance that they get. Uh, my father and my other brother, they're always constantly there helping me with the renovations and all the like heavy lifting. It's a big deal to take on something like this, to become your own like entrepreneur and to have a location and then try to do all the marketing. Now, you brought a couple of friends, and I know yes. you said the focus isn't really on them, but they're beautifully crafted. Who, <laughs> Thank what you did so you much. bring here today? Uh, so, this is my pal Kirby, and hello, he's Kirby. actually the theater's mascot. Okay. Oh, hello. Thank you for having us. <laughs> it's very nice to see you too. They, like, do you remember? Excellent this? hand puppet. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so he's our theater's mascot. He's really great with the kids. Um, it's usually a little bit easier for them to open up to a character like Kirby, something colorful and soft, as opposed to some of the human actors that we have on stage at the time. Okay. Um, and, and this is a puppet as opposed to a marionette. And the mar marionette is on strings, right? Yes. Okay. And how, how did you become proficient at being a marionette? Artist? How would you say a marionettist? Uh, What's the word? Is there a word for that in puppet life? I've just life? been using puppeteer for everything <laughs> as this all-encompassing term. Okay, a puppeteer is a puppeteer <laughs> that works. Uh, but it is difficult, right? It, it's it's a skill. definitely different from okay. using a hand puppet. A uh, hand puppet is easily controlled by the motions of my hand, opening and closing the mouth. Uh, the marionettes, they're all controlled by strings, so I actually have my witch here as well. Oh, can um, we see her too? Absolutely. Okay, bye Kirby, one second. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll hold him. May I hold him? Sure. Okay, come over here and hang out with me, Kirby. Uh, okay. So, I've brought her along with me today. Okay. And, um... Hold on one second, because sure. you have a string attached, too, with your mic, but it's totally fine where you I'm are. I'm okay? secretly a puppet. Okay. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> he might be a puppet. I don't know. Okay, so you have this witch. Um, so she's a key player in a lot of the stories that we do at the theater. Uh, we do a lot of classic fairy tales. So having a witch there is almost like one of the key components. She is almost always the villain. Sometimes she plays the hero. But ultimately, she's a storyteller herself. Um, she's handcrafted from balsa wood, so That's she's all hand-carved. Uh, do you, do you, you know, make some of your own? Everything that I use, I make myself. You uh, do? So Kirby was handmade. Um, the witch is all hand-carved from balsa wood. I have a few that I've done out of paper mache as well. Great. Thank you so much. Ha just have Thank a you. seat right there. It was very sure. nice to meet you, Witch. Um, so how can people, you know, get tickets? How can people book parties? How, how can they reach out to you? Uh, so, so cute. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, You're lonely without him, now... aren't you? I know. Oh, that's okay. Are you sure? It's okay? Okay, are you comfortable? Okay. Then... I think he likes you better. Okay. He might. Ooh, kisses, kisses. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> um, so right now, we take a lot of bookings over the phone. Um, we've actually had people come in from outside of Long Island as well. I had a party last week that came in from Pennsylvania just to have a party there, so that was fantastic. Um, but most of our bookings are done over the phone or right at the door. We have showtimes available for people to walk in and if, if they just heard about it or I've had people come in because they saw it from the train. Uh, we have showtimes available for them and those are all throughout the week. Uh, we have showtimes available on the weekends as well, but those are mostly for our party bookings. Um, okay. But then everything kind of becomes free range over the summer. Once the kids are out of school, the show times increase. We do morning shows and afternoon shows. Um, for the weekends, uh, 
we have our parties, we have special events, uh, we do costume character breakfasts, and now we're opening up to sort of teaching puppetry to uh, anyone who's interested as well. That's what I was going to ask you next. So you, you, somebody could learn how to do this as well. Yes. Well, I celebrate your success, <laughs> your wonderful entrepreneur, the fact that you start it with a vision and now you own the place. Kudos to you. That's fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, Kirby, right? Yes. Okay, this is Kirby, uh, and you're watching Live It Up, and Kirby says, bye! <laughs> okay, thanks for watching.